Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a guest video from Darth Merrick, who is in uh, the new Goof Flight Type. Uh, not the Flight Test Type, but the Flight Type, the 8th MS Team version. It is a raid, and it is a raid that uh, ah, has, you know, all the benefits of the uh, Goof Flight Test Type, and the Goof Customs Gatling Shield, and uh, Heat Sword on top of it, so... There, there's some good stuff to be done with that. This is my first time watching the round, and first time getting a really close look at it on the user end. I've fought a few of them, and basically you need to focus them in the air with the machine gun fire or other heavy, you know, or or something with heavy stagger if you're a good shot. But, you know, you, you have to really, you know, focus on it to, uh, to get it down, but... It's a, you know, it's going to be a good search and destroy raid killer, especially if your if your enemy team is not really, again, not focused on uh, taking it down. Merrick's dropping down back down here, let, trying to let his uh, trying to let his uh, boost come back, but did have to boost a little bit. The one thing it is it does not have, I don't think Merrick will, you know, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I don't believe it has a dodge roll the way that the uh, go flight test does. Which, you know, actually, in a, to a certain extent, might work in its favor, because you're less likely to expend your boost gauge trying to use it. But it's also it also means that once you land, if you have any boost left, you have fewer defensive options. Because you can get a dodge roll out of your uh, last little sliver of boost, but you can't really get enough momentum to keep, uh, get your maneuver armor rolling. So it's it's going to be difficult things. Um, I'd recommend... Ba Depending on the situation, I'd suggest maybe tackles. Because tackles get you a little bit of ground and a little bit of invincibility, similarly to how dodge rolls do. But, and ha and have the added benefit of doing damage if, uh, if, uh, it connects, so. But yeah, it's not going to be a perfect, uh, solution. It's not going to be as good. Oh, has a Sturmfaust. Nice. It's not going to be a perfect solution compared to the, uh, compared to a dodge roll, but it's, it might get you out of trouble. I've kind of been getting back into the panic tackle thing I did frequently in Battle Operation 1 lately. I don't know if it's doing me any good, but it's just... It's something I want back in the arsenal just in case. I just have to, you know, get more used to doing it again and figure out when you do and you don't. That, that's, that's half the game. You know, what weapons do you use when? What maneuvers do you use when? Actually, that's the entire game. It's not even half. But... There, it's all questions of timing and positioning and all those fun gamey things. But, let's see, this is a Blue Destiny, I believe, that just got dropped. I've been seeing a fair number of Blue Destiny 1s lately. They, they kind of dropped out of favor for a while, but it's good to see them come back. I, I do enjoy using it. It's just, it's been a while. Played it recently, didn't get a good round with it. Might try again soon. But yeah, okay, so it, I don't think this one has the leg missiles, but it does have a Sturmfaust instead, which is not bad. This one is also about to be out of legs, so... Okay, it can fly even when it's out of legs. That's impressive, actually. Ah, uh, Merrick's team's only down a little bit, like basically one kill. 4,400 to 5,000. Uh, it was the Gun Cannon Heavy D that got him. As, as a, as a long-range capable uh, general, that is a great foil, honestly, for... Uh, a great foil, honestly, for uh, a good flight type. But let's see, Merrick is setting off on his own since uh, uh, since someone else was calling for support fire. I think he's gonna go over and take D if he can, because well, it's always good to get a checkpoint if you can. So no, it's maybe hard to say. Gonna, I'm my my official guess is gonna be for D. Occasionally landing to get some boost back, because running out of boost as a pilot is the worst. But yeah, he has made it. Um, the thing, of course, is there are certain... Oh, there's an enemy. Yeah, that's that's the downside. But I was about to say, the, the there are certain mobile suits, and I think the Gun Cannon series are a habit that have personnel radar, so make it easier to detect pilots. But there is also just the uh, simple fact that if you are boosting or firing, you show up on enemy radar regardless. So, if, if you have to boost, I'm pretty sure they can see you. As always, correct me if I'm wrong on that. Well, like I said yesterday, late at night, kind of tired, maybe getting things wrong. Al I always welcome corrections. And 
I have a pretty, you know, if, if you haven't uh, been watching me for long, I tend to have a fairly chill comment section that is, you know, happy to volunteer information, and I'm, I'm grateful for that. There's never a lot, I'm, yeah, there's never really a lot of drama in my comment section, and that is just, you know, I'm really happy about that. I, I, have, a, I have a good audience, and I am very grateful for them. But yeah, hanging back around the edge of the uh, field there, because that's a good place to wait for uh, your opportunity to get in the air and fire. And just good sustained fire there. So I am just amazed that nobody on the enemy team was really paying attention, because if they had been, they could they could have taken him down. But they were kind of occupied with the rest of the team. I swear this. I swear the good flight type uses different melee animation than the custom, which is great. I. Uh, I do like a very, I do like varied melee patterns. I like unique melee. Basically, I like each of these mobile suits to feel distinctive. You know, it's it's just not you know there there should be uh, d differences. Yeah, I like that swing. There should be differences between you know the various guff flight types. The way there are just subtle differences between, for example, the three new type use mobile suits, the Zyke, uh, Zaku Zaku test type. The uh, bishop and the uh, and the Zeong. So, yeah, I again, just variety is good. Uh, everything should play a little bit differently. Should have its own character, and they're usually pretty good about that. And with as many mobile suits are, as are in this game, I mean, what at least one a week for a year and a half now? That is pretty impressive. Yeah. So, let's see, about a minute left. Merrick's team has a pretty good lead. Decent. About 2,000 points. He is out of legs, but if it's, we've seen is if he has to, he can fly. Um, that's something I'm going to have to test if I can get a hold of one of these things, or if I use my good flight test type. So I saw him last time fly when he was out of legs. If you fly and boost when you're out of legs, will you just kind of slump when you stop boosting, or does it wait till you touch the ground? Because if, if you can just fly and boost back with no legs... That, that is just a great escape mechanism if you can find uh, the time and place to make use of it. Another thing I want to see this do is I, you know, I have seen some people and I've tried myself to make good use of the uh, melee shoulder tackle that the uh, good flight test type has. And I just want to see some air melee going on now that this thing has its own heat sword. See, Merrick is down here trying to get at a good angle on that thing before it gets a good angle on him. Good time to be flying, I think. Their blue destiny uh, got below him, so that's not a problem. He's out of legs, though. And, yeah, they've got him now, unfortunately. Five seconds left. His team has it. And, yeah, this looks like it's going to be fun to use if I can get a hold of it. I do... Again, I do like the interesting gimmicks. I do like unique mobile suits. This looks like it should be good, and that Gatling shield is, of course, dynamite. So, it, it's it looks like it has some good armaments. And good job, Merrick. Top score, 2,600, while being most targeted. Six kills and two deaths. Not bad at all. That's going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. I'm just hoping my phone's alarm doesn't go off before I'm done uh, narrating this. But until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Whoops, there it goes.